Hi, I'm musician and producer Rooks, and this is my video for music production for women. Today I'll be showing you how the touch technology of Rolly controllers can cut your music production time in half when using Logic music production software, and I'll be using the Rolly light pad block. The light pad block is a MIDI controller, but Rolly specialise in touch sensitive technology, so this opens up a whole new realm of unique sounds and different ways of playing and I'm using the light pad block to control Rolly's synth engine equator today. Taking a look at the light pad block, you can see it's topped with silicon, which feels very cool. The squishy surface enables 5D touch, which is strike, basic tapping of the surface, kind of binary. Press, which creates a different dynamic depending on the patch, maybe increasing or decreasing volume or velocity. Glide, same again, although with this patch it seems to create a sustain effect. Slide, pitch bend, and lift, which is after touch. And in this patch, the aftertouch changes depending on which 5D gesture you've used before it. So I said that Rolly's 5D touch controllers could cut your production time in half. Here's why. Because, one, you can create automation of your track dynamics on the go without having to draw graphs manually afterwards. I'm going to show you by creating a melody line to two beat and bass loop samples that I have already created. You can see them as audio files here. I'll be using the Funk Auto Wah synth in Equator. <laughs> Two, you can manipulate the track data afterwards using the step editor. So for example, I can change the pitch bend here. Or change it back. So I hope you enjoyed finding out something more about how to use the light pad block in Logic. Be sure to subscribe to Music Production for Women's channel, drop your questions and comments below and let them know what you'd like to find out about next. I've been Rooks, it's been a pleasure, bye!